So, in this clip we're gonna talk about calculating normal probabilities using Excel. So, you know that a normal distribution has two parameters, the mean and the standard deviation. So, we have these guys here. And again, we're gonna start with looking at the PDF and the CDF. We're actually gonna plot these. So, we have to think about what values uh, do we want to allow for our normal distribution? Let's st say we start from negative 10, we'll build a whole range and go in steps of uh, 0 0.1. So, next one is going to be negative 9.9. .9. I highlight that and track that down. You see, Excel is clever enough to recognize what I want, and I'm going to go all the way to plus 10. So, I'll track this down until I get about plus 10. It's not really crucial, but you'll see in the pictures what will happen. So we're going to calculate PDFs and CDFs from a normal distribution for these range of values. Excel has a beautiful function again. We go to statistical and to uh, norm. Where is it here? Norm. And we can go, for instance, to norm dist. Here we go. So. What we need is, again, a reference to the x, the value at which we want to calculate the uh, either PDF or CDF. Then we need the two parameters, mean, we have up here. And again, we're going to fix this, so we're going to put dollar signs in front and standard deviation, and we fix that. And cumulative, well, we want the PDF first, so cumulative is false for the CDF. We'll put a true in here. So, we have this value, and now we know immediately for the CDF, we can copy exactly that in here, and just that we change that last input from false to true, indicating we want a CDF. We can copy this all the way down, and it's best to look at these in a picture, so we're going to print the column B, Line, a line graph. So and this already looks like a beautiful bell-shaped curve. I'm just going to move this to the top of the screen. I'll make it just a little bit smaller so I can fit the CDF in there. And what I'm also going to do, you can see this just counts uh, the X. What I want is these X values here. Do that by right mouse click, select data, horizontal axis labels, that's exactly what we want to change. So we click Edit here, and here we're going to put in our range of data, and click OK, and OK. And if we now go to our graph, yes, beautiful. OK, we have the values from negative 10 to plus 10. And we want so I want exactly the same for the CDF. So I go through the process again, I highlight column C, I go to insert, line graph, line graph here, that's it. I control X, cut it out, and control V to copy it in the top. Just make it a little smaller again. Take this away, and again I want to replace on the X axis our actually X values. So I go to select data horizontal category axis, I edit this, and again, I'm just going to go to column A and highlight the whole column A, click OK, OK, and I should have my beautiful value. So, what you can see here is, of course, the standard normal distribution, mean, zero, standard deviation, one, and you can see the density function, so that is the uh, PDF, and this guy here is the CDF, and this is the CDF going from 0 to 1. And you can beautifully see what happens, for instance, if we increase the mean, the thing moves to the right, both CDF and PDF. Uh, if we uh, have a negative mean, it will move all the way over here, so if the mean is negative 4, we'll peak at negative 4. And let's put it back to zero. If we uh, increase the standard deviation, uh, we get a just a much flatter curve. Let's use a somewhat smaller one, two. Okay, so let's just change between two and one. I can clearly see what 
what happens here. Also note that uh, if you do that, of course, the vertical axis will change automatically. Uh, but you can see how this gets wider. Okay, so here's our standard normal again. So let's say you want to calculate a probability that um, we have negative 2 uh, is smaller than x and that is 3 and x is smaller than 3. Okay, let's say this is the probability you want to calculate and for your distribution you're interested in, for the x distribution you're interested in mu is equal to let's say 2 and the standard deviation is equal to 1.5 just to use a different value and now you want to calculate this probability. So what you still need to, to do, you still need to understand that you want to uh, translate the probability into probabilities of the form x is smaller than something okay because that will uh, be the CDF so this is the same I'll just use an uh, equal here okay so this is the same as the probability of x being smaller than 3 minus the probability of x being smaller than negative 2. Okay, So you should still understand how to translate this. Now the question is how do you calculate these guys and these you can calculate in the following way. So we go Again, we want the statistical function, we use the same norm CDF, we, um, uh, and, and norm or not, you can again use norm dist, okay? So what we want now is the value, the x value is going to be 3, the mean is this guy, the standard deviation is this guy, and now we want the cumulative, okay? So here, if that is our mean, our standard deviation, the probability that x is smaller than 3 is 0.7475. Does that make sense? The mean is 2, so 3 is larger than the mean, so the probability certainly needs to be larger than 0.5, that it is. And let's look at that, 3 is a little less than the standard deviation, larger than the mean. So that, that's a perfectly sensible value. Now what about probability of x being smaller than negative 2? Before we calculate it, let's think of what we expect. You should always check against your expectations. Now the mean is 2. We're looking for x smaller than negative 2, so that's 4 away from the mean. That's more than two standard deviations away from the mean. So more than four more than two standard deviations smaller than the mean. So we would expect a pretty small probability here. Okay, we're looking at like tail probability here to the left. So let's again use our function. Okay, so now we want negative two. The mean is that standard deviation is that and cumulative is true. Okay, so these are the values you can also get from a statistical table and what we are interested in is the difference between these two so let's just uh, calculate that here, that minus that. Okay, we get 0.7436. So that means you can use Excel to calculate the probabilities, but you will still need to do the main job of sort of understanding how this decomposes into these probabilities.